I started thinking about bloom boosters. It used to be keep PK boost, but Mammoth P is a bloom booster, Canna uh, Boost, oh, Blo Bloom Bastic. You're saying because even though it doesn't have more P and K. Yeah, there's all, uh, Massive has Tricantanol in it. Don't we consider that a bloom booster? Good point. Bloom additives, not boosters, additives or enhancements. Which one? Which one are we talking about? Additives, enhancements, boosters, a lot of stuff. What are you talking about? Enhancements? Boosters? <laughs> huh. I like I like where this is going. Yes, yes, you got it, man. It's a hot subject. It's very trendy to think about what can you add to make these flowers tastier and bigger and nice. So but first off, can I say hi to welcome. Banner and ask him? Come on, say boosters for me. Boosters, <laughs> boosters, boosters. I'm from New York, boosters. There's an H Dude, in there at the end cool. somewhere. I had one of those. Pro I guess I'll call it a prop associated memory not ptsd but i had to take a quick leak you know before the show started and i walked in with my headphones and my mic into the bathroom and i was moving the cords out of the way to go to the bathroom i was like oh my god this is like i'm in the hot it just reminded me of being in the hospital with an iv not traumatic hospital visit planned i can't even remember last time i had an iv have you ever oh, had an IV when you before? gotta walk around with things attached to you to keep you alive that is scary like where you wheel the bag like, nope. yeah, nope. like it's, and then you go, ah, it's just a little bit, you get used to it, but it's just a little bit weird with that in your arm the whole time. Man, it's amazing. It's amazing the stuff they can do, dude. What's up, man? Hey, What's up, everybody? What's up, Good Grandpa? Times. Yo. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say, I, I've had that, dude. I, I had to have a kidney stone surgically oh. removed one time, so, and they kept... I stayed in the hospital like five days or we have to go in through the out hole, if you know what I mean. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to pass. So I stayed in the hospital three days and I'm like, fuck it, rip it out of me. Oh, uh, yeah. I was told okay. they were terrible, the, man. The, the Scotty, put your were, props away. <laughs> uh, today's today's show, you know, made me think. Oh, boy. It's we good. are going to be talking about Ingrow Talks and Bloom Additives. Um, Scotty is back on the Joof weed. Okay. Yeah. And, you know uh, what? Even Banner's a little bit on the Juve weed. I seen the jar over over next to you today. It's delicious, man. Guava Gator number three. Delicious. Uh, in the news, Oklahoma voters reject legalizing recreational marijuana. They rejected it, man. So let's yeah. cover that and see. Uh, why would you want to reject rec, man? I don't know. Uh, uh, man, James Bean always says rec killed medical doesn't always wreck, doesn't always bring just good times. That's for sure. I've seen some screwed up wreck. Yeah, but still, I don't have my card right now. I let it lapse. It's nice to know that if I, you know, it's completely legal for me to have a joint. And there's smoke a joint. And, well, I guess there's some things, but yeah. Yeah, I like that. Do you have well, to you need your local growers. Do you have to have wreck to have home grow? Hmm. <laughs> I bet it makes it a hell of a lot easier. No, when you have your med card, you can grow as long as you have your card. But you yeah. have to have a card, though. Yeah. See, that, that's where it goes wrong. The thing, the thing about not having okay, if you have rec, but they didn't allow home grow, let's say, a lot of times still that that's the limiting factor. Where if that's the right word for where people be like, screw it, it's recreational illegal. Even they said say I can't do it, I'm going to start growing. They're just going to you know what is it a fine now? That's it's right. A, like a it's not like I'm going to jail. So rec, I think, does bring home grow for sure, even if it's not technically allowed. Technically, man. So we're really learning about the rules. So those are all kinds of saying about the rules. Like the rules are meant to be followed, but, or I don't know, you got any good saying about rules, Scotty? Yeah. Am I the only one that gives a damn about the rules? <laughs> <laughs> it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Probably think about a scene one. or quote from the Big Lebowski once a week, at least. Four yeah, times a month. you are the dude. <laughs> yeah, I identify more with Walter. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk about, uh, oh, don't forget the uh, show brought to you by Real Growers. As always, guys, Recharge Grow Dots. Scott has got some new sizes. Anybody can get into the Recharge and the Dots, even if you want to try it on one plant. One plant. Have one plant prove it to you. And, and don't invest a lot in a bunch of bottles or a line to do it. Realgrowers.com. In Canada, dudesworld.ca. Get the dots and the charge. And 
peruse our pros list, dudegrows.com forward slash pros is where all coupon codes are listed out where you can find everybody that has using some GGC vetted gear, whether it's lighting, AC infinity with the tents, pulse, grow meters, all kinds of good shit over there. Are you, are you about to say something, Scotty? No, no, I'm just thinking about inviting Grandpa. You want to go peruse the uh, pros list later, man? I mean, you know. Sounds nice. It sounds like a party. I'll, tr- I'll throw a slice of pizza at you. I'm All a, right. I'm a pro at trolling. DGC producers, don't forget about the post shows, man. We've been hitting up most every show with post show, We're hooking up free seeds, checking out dank nugs together. That's at dudegrows.com forward slash support. If you're not a DGC producer, bring it. Come on over, man. I love it. As Scotty said, just put it easier, man. 33 cents a day. And you it's can true. take care of this team and this show, guys. We are. I haven't done the exact math. I'm guessing 75 to 80 percent supported by you, Patreon producers. That is super important. Yes, it is important. For a while now, and appreciate your help. Couldn't do it without you, Grambo. He would not be here without you. No Grambo. No yeah. Grambo. No show. Same I don't know. Do. Hanging out anyhow. Where else I'd you come get free weed like this, man? <laughs> it's true. Uh, all right, let's get Who into the girl talk, man. With. <laughs> What's that? I said, who else is Grambo going to peruse with? Man, he has to come on up. Got to come up. I mean, now you make me want to use Urban Dictionary for that. See, And Urban Dictionary isn't always bad. Sometimes they just do a nice understanding um, breakdown of a word. This is 100% true. You know what comes up when you search Grambo? This has been there for like 13, 14 years. One of the number one searches is Fat Harry Stoner Guy. No, I swear to God, it has nothing to do with me. I don't think about. I swear to God, if you used Urban Dictionary Grambo, That's one of the right. first searches is "fat Harry Stoner guy." I googled myself one time, and it said there is no one of uh, there is no one of consequence <laughs> or important named Scotty Real. Yeah, well, when you ask Chat like, GPT oh, about thanks. you guys, at least it knows. Yeah. It, it don't know nothing about me. Yeah, it's very nice. It always makes you feel good. Um, uh, I did. Oh, right before it happened to Grow Talk, I just got hit up, actually. I just got hit up right now. Uh, Whoa. Good people, you lucky people, whoever's lucky enough to get out to Spanibus. Um, that's happening here in Spain this wow. upcoming weekend. And Dinesh from Optic Folio is going to be there. Wow. And when you go to any of Dinesh's, wherever he's hanging, which I got to figure out where else he's going because that man travels the world, um, and say, hey, what's up, Dinesh? I'm DGC. You got to give the special handshake and the bump and all that. But he will hook you up fat, <laughs> right? Maybe even some syrup out of the deal. <laughs> syrup. <laughs> That's like awesome. Syrup? Yeah, he sent us like huh? a case of maple syrup. I still have some. I chug it every now and again, man. I'll take a little nip every now and again when nobody's looking. Come on. Super Trooper Challenge? Anybody yeah. down? I would not do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm do good. it. I'm good with the maple syrup. How do you say it? It's syrup. Right. syrup. Syrup. Yeah, it's one syllable, syrup. right? Syrup. I like it. <laughs> syrup. <laughs> Bloom additives, sure. guys. Grower questions. Dudegrows.com. Holy cow! Nineteen comments. Told you. Talk. It's trendy. Bloom additives. Yeah, um, I had a good time my- with this one. And now that I knew, once oh. I knew he wasn't a cop asking, I really let myself go with it. You know. Um, have you ever met anybody that? was undercover and you didn't know or it doesn't have to be somebody that was like looking yeah. into you but like, an undercover like you didn't know it was a cop and you found out they're a cop and you're like no way yeah i told you that guru and i a few years ago we put an ad like i can't remember where it was facebook marketplace we need a professional photographer this guy hits us up we meet him at starbucks and he's like yeah and we're fucking high as shit like probably just blazed in the car or something and we just yeah, like weed i'm sure it's like stink you know and we're hanging out and the guy's really nice he's kind of got like a shit eating grin on his face the whole time we make a deal where he's going to take some product pics for us and then he goes hey guess my day job <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know, man. Do you do like commercials or something? And he's like, I'm a cop. And it was just so like he didn't give a shit, man. He couldn't have cared less. He was happy to make the extra hundred bucks, but it was so funny, man. Yeah. Enjoy fucking with you a little bit. Yeah. And by the way, once I looked at him, I was like, fucking hey, of course you are. Holy shit. He looked just like a cop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good going. It's legal, uh, bro, I know. Right. Yeah, let me move on with the girl talk here. Boosters, what's up, y'all? I've been wondering what might be useful to yielding larger, denser flowers in my grow. I grow in a city picker sub irrigation planter with Pro Mix. That's a, a most city pickers are like uh, probably going to be maybe ten gallons a meter or gallons. something. Their grip. Yep. Um, 
I use grow dots, uh, recharge. I usually add build a bloom and flower. I've been wondering if there's anything else I can add to get better flower. I have plenty of light, 250 watts for a three by three tent. I agree without digging in deeper and looking at your PPFD and everything. So that's, if that's good LED wattage or good spectrum, you're, you're pretty decent three by three tent there. My environment is dialed as well. And I can't throw out, or I, I can, it's dialed as well as I can throughout my grow, but my flowers always seem to get less dense and much smaller after harvesting. And your information will be very helpful. I'm hoping that's not obviously. Sometimes it is disheartening when you're like, after you hang up your buds to dry, and you're like, damn, those those are like 30, 35% smaller. That's just part of the process there. Right. I mean, if that's part of what he's talking about. I mean, um, think about but, the yield limiting factors if you're, if you're trying to, you know, or if you're trying to increase your yield. What are the factors? First off is genetics, right? You can get, sure. yeah, I mean, you can get plants that grow little popcorn buds. You can get big giant Christmas trees. Um, and then second, I would think, or a big tide for first is the amount of light because right. light's the energy, right? Yeah. And then once you got enough energy, the second most abundant thing would be CO2. And then after that would be nutrients. And that concentration is what the plant's built of. I would say it's the size of the plant. It's not the size. Of, that would be second or third. Second or ah, oh, that's true. Take a, if you have one giant cola that's way up here, um, and it's it is shading other stuff, or if it's forcing you to keep your light really far up, uh, that could be something too. An even canopy. Yeah. Well, like a three gallon plant. Yes. A plant in a three gallon pot. Right. Probably going to make less smaller buds than a bigger plant. Oh, I see what you're saying, a 7 or a 10. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it always, it's a... Bigger yeah. plant, bigger buds. There's a direct relationship there. I think so. See that? It's like mathematical shit, huh? Well, anyway, man, um, I started thinking about... No, sorry to, to bust in, but I, just, I was thinking about this. I'm like, okay, once you address all those, and then uh, nutrients is kind of the last one on the list, um, and then... Yeah, I don't know. Let's just take a look. We should, we should kind of take a look and see what all the options are. There's a bunch. Like, what do you call them? I call them all bloom boosters. So if it, if you have your basic, just to define it, you have your basic nutrition, at grow dots, uh, uh, new millennium, can of nutrients, you're covered typically. Uh, some lines have, quote, a booster. It's not your base nutrition for phosphorus, right? This is an additive that can go above. Some growers will get a straight phosphorus to push at a certain point in bloom. Uh, now that's like a, 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 a go ahead. No, that's what I'm asking. For back in the day, bloom boosters used to be like cool bloom. It was like a zero fifty thirty, and it was a P and K boost. And the idea there was if you were, I don't know what the idea was because when you had the even if you use like GH three part, you cut out the most important thing when you're flowering is cutting out the nitrogen, and then that changes the ratio of P and K, but. It's most. It's the ratio. It's not. It's not exactly the uh, uh, the amount. So you're saying it. you could just use more bloom. I'm saying that when you switch, I, I actually, if you look like uh, best practices, a one three two, one part nitrogen, three parts phosphorus, uh, two parts potassium. That's like best practices for early flower commercially. Uh, a zero three zero three three for late flower. So you're cutting out all the nitrogen. You got three units of phosphorus, three units of potassium. That's that's kind of that's the bloom booster. No, I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to, you're changing the concentrations. You still can't go up with PPM. You'll burn the shit out of your plants. If you, how many people have you known with, uh, they use that cool bloom, the powdered stuff. It's a zero fifty thirty, 30. We just burn the crap out of their plants with it. You don't add anything. I, I, I have my base, which is, uh, for example, I gave, I had used BioCanna last time. Um, shout out. It came with, I see you have here on the list. Um, can of chat can a man give me some bio boost um which is made from fermented plant extracts which is a sweet like bloom enhancer i don't add phosphorus on top of phosphorus if my baseline has phosphorus right. in it i'm not going to get a booster that's just a zero whatever zero that's stop my i don't typically just try and give my bud steroids at a certain point and, and bloom i know i could i could probably have bigger buds it's not it's steroids not it's just screwing up the concentration maybe if you had a balanced fertilizer all along and you just during fall or outdoors you went there and you wanted to add a p and k boost maybe that would make sense as a standalone product i don't know 
I want to know if anybody's adding a organic, like a dry bloom booster. So you're because that's what I was like an organic, and if it's dry, right? Versus, I don't know, like hydro, you bloom boost because you could force it to take more nutrients up. But it, I don't know, does that work in soil? Yeah, I mean, it's just adding some phosphorus and potassium in late flowering, letting but, your but letting you know too? die out. Yeah, you definitely need your plants definitely need an elevated phosphorus and potassium, or at least a higher ratio of it. What it really needs is a good fertilizer that doesn't have a lot of nitrogen in it at the end. That's the key. So the answer, Banner. Nitrogen question. Not, not a cop's already doing this. He's using the build a soil, build a bloom, um, which I like because it doesn't have any of the meals. Uh, Gaia Green is really popular here in Canada, and I've just uh, blood meal, bone meal, feather meal, um, and I got to learn more about those. I'm ignorant of some of it, but anyway, the build a build a bloom is a two ten five. It's a radio ten on the phosphorus. So that's decent. You can sure. top dress this. You can continue to top dress it and use it as your quote meat and potatoes if you're going at a heavier rate. It is. But if you're yeah. using some type of liquid nutrition and you wanted to add a little of this build a bloom <laughs> at optimal time in flowering, I would consider that top dressing a bloom. I hate the word booster. I just like additive or enhancer yeah. better. I don't know. I guess it's that's a fertilizer. It's a fertilizer that is. And that's different, by the way, than I just kind of go I started thinking about bloom boosters. It used to be keep PK boost, but Mammoth P is a bloom booster, canna, uh, canna boost, oh, blo bloom bastic. You're saying because even though it doesn't have more P and K. Yeah, there's all, uh, Massive has tricantanol in it. Don't we consider that a bloom booster? Good point. Hang on, I actually, I uh, actually no, did some no. Googling. Hang on, so tricantanol has yeah. been proven to stimulate photosynthesis, increase chlorophyll content, cell density, and CO2 assimilation. It allows the plant to process more light to supercharge the production of essential fluids and cell building. I guess that's not a bloom booster, would it be? That's just a growth enhancer. Didn't sound like it was doing anything for blooms. Boosting your blooms. Yeah, it's cool. All right, it's massive. <laughs> Well, I see, then also have things here like Mammoth P. That's not necessarily a booster enhancer, but a flower product that focuses on microbes. You that know what? Help with phosphorus availability, right? Yeah. And everything, it's exactly what we're talking about. You have to unlock phosphorus and, and make it available. That's what, that's what the plants need at that point. It's pretty cool. And, um, go ahead. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I was looking. What is, you ever seen Bloombastic? I've never used it. It's really expensive. And I was trying to figure out, I was trying to figure out what all these were. We know mammoth pea is, is a, a beneficial bacteria, like a proprietary bacteria that solubilizes phosphorus. Uh, massive is that tricantinol, which is that naturally occurring, like was it an alcohol or naturally occurring plant growth promoting substance. So I'm comfortable with them. Um, I tell you what, I'll even go to cannabis. Cannabis is seaweed oleg oligosaccharides. And so it's sugars with seaweed extracts. Some, some seaweed has all sorts of growth hormones in it, a lot of them. So they must know how to extract a specific type that's good for bloom. And uh, they put it with some sugars. And that's what I suspect cannabis is. Um, all because it's bass. plant fermentation. And yeah, it there you go. So good. Oh, yeah, nice, man. I could see that, though. The seaweed's magical stuff. You know, there's so many amazing ingredients in seaweed, and I'm sure there's extracts of it, that kind of thing. But Bloombastic, I'm so uh, confused over, man. I cannot, I cannot figure I out what Bloombastic is. I am simply sold, uh, I don't know if it's because my wife is, I do like um, blondes. You know, I like blonde hair, I like all types of hair and women, but sure. blonde hair, you know, it's my preference. And the woman on the boom, boom bastic bottle has short blonde hair, which I also kind of <laughs> like. And, but then again, and there's diamonds on the label. So all this should tell me like advanced, advanced nutrients, marketing techniques are crap, but Atami's not a bad company. Um, I don't really know what's in it. We sold it. We sold a grip of this shit when I worked at the hydro store as well, like to the point of where. Um, obviously some seasoned growers are like, yeah, I mean, it totally works, but, and it's a zero fourteen fifteen. 15. Um, it seems like it's I just was a PK growers. boost. What's that? It seems like it's a PK boost. If it's a zero fourteen fifteen, 15, I'm confused. <laughs> about what? 
why is it so expensive? And how come it's so mysterious? It says, I, I actually Googled the contents. Potassium phosphate, potassium hydroxide, uh, phosphoric acid, iron, ET, it's just a chelated iron, phosphorus, pentoxide, and clay mineral. So you like know said, that just can there are companies that are definitely either proprietary or are not going to label right. exactly what sure. some of their stuff just you're because right. of that. Um, yes, you're 100% but, right. Like I said, I was start, just rolling through these. And by the way, man, uh, advanced nutrients, I can't, man, they just have so many products and so much marketing crap. I was looking at a bud candy. And what was funny is somebody ripped them off and made sweet candy instead. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just the 02727. And uh, just the marketing behind these things is so fun. Yeah, right. I mean, Jesus, that's a fertilizer. I can't tell if that's a candy or a fertilizer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Anyway, but it's just, that's just a super expensive bloom boost. Or at least that's what it seems to me. Hey, not a cop, Scotty, has everything he, I assume. I don't know. It's probably How a safe How the hell assumption. could you assume that? Wow. Was it 1960s oh, okay. over I, here? Yeah. It's not, not, Dude, I'm not just going to go with math. OK, <laughs> I'm not sexist. I'm just going with math on this. Like we can just how many male cops are there versus female cops. So I'm just assuming. So, you know, what happens uh, when you assume you, on YouTube live every. Yeah, yeah. The uh, I did want to say he has everything to succeed. He's got that build a bloom. You know, he's got it, the problem. Problem. Maybe you're just getting that smaller. And after you dry them and shrunk them up, sometimes it doesn't be like, damn, they shrunk up. Um, and you said you're right now, there's in comments, everybody that helped, uh, in the comments and, uh, yeah, I bet you you're, you're good to go. Your plant, one more tip, your plant, which we're not showing the pick, but looks pretty damn decent. Those buds look pretty nice to me. I did notice looking at the bottom of your plant, looked like a bunch of buds and branches that could come off. So that also will help increase top cola size, directing yep. the energy there. Yep. So I would prune this up like. Not lollipop. I hate the word lollipop where you're just growing too much stem and not enough flower, but you could take some lower flowers off there for sure. That would help your upper canopy flowers. And it's different than defoliating. Not a cop says that, so I defoliate pretty frequently. Um, defoliating is cutting all the leaves that make energy off. I don't recommend doing that, but just shaping the plant. Damn, thanks. Dr. Feel good. Yes, awesome. Um, Coach Steve helping out. Oh yeah, these guys are awesome. Or Chad guys. Westport, what's up, man? Okay, guys, check it out. Dudegrows.com. If you're not getting into the grow talk, it's happening. It's happening. Thanks to Maestro, he's keeping it real over there. Maestro, yes. DDC was- Cup banner. Do you have an update? DDC Cup Cup date update. Yeah, <laughs> the cup, the cup what's date. left for? Oh, uh, I like that. There cup was- date update. There are only two competitor yeah. t- spots left. Ta-da. That's it. It's 48 kinds of so, weed, too, man. Don't be sleeping. Oh, nice. Two competitor. So, yeah, we did change it up. I don't want to do more than 50, man. It just, you got, you're going to, we, we add it this year. You're going to have five voting tokens. Um, you got to pick your top five. And uh, we have twice as many bud tending stations this year. So there should be no hold up anywhere. Get around, move quick. I think you got like four hours to do it. If you can sample all 50, let me know. I want to see what your strategy is. Yeah, Mr. Max Potency is now a licensed paramedic. So I wonder if the Dabulance counts. We should just have him in the Dabulance, you know, just in case. Oh, be all sweet. official. Yeah, it is true. Yeah. Right. I did not know that. Congrats to, to Max Potency, and hopefully he's going to warehouse Kyle, the team. Um, good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, yes. June the 3rd, if you guys haven't heard, dgccup.com, plenty of general admission tickets to come hang out. I, I, I'm not going to call it Gen A, GA, plenty of judging tickets. Anybody that comes to this event gets a 1E, a lighter, and go sample all that weed. So dgccup.com to get your tickets. It is an awesome party. They'll probably make some friends, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might get out. Yeah, but we've Try not to drive. Got me get somebody else to drive right there. here. I was just about to dig into one of these. Are you wanting? Yeah, been saving it for a special occasion. Maybe today's the day. And today is that special right. occasion? I had it left over from the Cowboy Cup. 
that's been sitting here in front of me tantalizingly clean. So maybe today I'll dirty it up. I love it. They're very cool. I got some double some double hits on DDC producers here, Scotty. Help me out. I'll start it off with Missouri Herbalist. Blue collar green thumb. What's up? And Bob Chetta. Bob, Bob Chetta stacking Chetta. that cheese, yo. <laughs> I like it. I'll take a little nappy terps, man. What do you think? Ah, oh, Tree Sap Medicinals. What's up? Yes, you'd like me to, to shout out Mr. AJ Gunito. AJ yes, Gunito. I would. Yes, thank you. Did I do that? <laughs> I got this last one because I think she might be in the chat. Luce, Lucy Gems. Gems, is anybody watching the chat? What is going on? Stay tuned for the post show. Loose Lucy, I think we might be featuring one of our dang nubs. Let's see. Uh, hey. As well as I see an update here. Ethos is coming to the DDC Cup. Sweet. Sick. Yep. Just you heard had more from him this morning. Moments ago. I think there's, and there's a clone company, I believe, coming. Like, this will be sweet. You're going to be able to get whatever, live genetics, seeded seeds, yeah. seed, trade with the DGC, backpack genetics. Yeah, if you um, don't know Colin from Ethos Genetics, been a friend of the show for years, and uh, grow some dank, has some dank-ass flowers. So dank seeds will be there. Wait, what do you call them? Come yeah, on, give me, the, give me the hip terms, man. Is it like, come on, something with gear. It's got to be cool gear, man. What do you call seeds, man? Fresh gear. Will sure, be there. that sounds good. Yeah, they'll be dropping fresh High quality gear. gear. Whoa, I like it. Yeah, uh, Dominion, Duke and Dominion's coming as nice. well. Nice. Uh, Duke Diamond. Lem, like Lem and Hoko. Okay. He will also be there. And Shout Rasta out to Jeff, Lem. no? Yes. Rasta Jeff said, "What, dude, when you are uh, on vacation next week, he said he'd drive on up and do a show with us. Maybe a little know your oh, player yeah. action as well. So shout out to Rasta Jeff, Irie Genetics. DGC has our back. Yeah, come on back next week for and hang out with Rasta sure. Jeff. Yeah, it should be fun. Do we dare you I hope you're to me. I'm spring break 2023 DGC. I'm going to be gone for a couple of weeks, uh, heading out to Maui for the first time. So, um, yeah, good times. I appreciate uh, yeah you guys holding down the fort. I miss it. I like hanging out with Rasta Jeff. I want to do a show with Rasta Jeff. I'll bring yeah. my computer with me, maybe. Hop on and do some fun in the in the in the fun in the sun. Nice. Hope you all are doing some spring break, man. Even if you can't do a vacation, do a staycation. How much shit? I live in somewhere kind of new to me still, even though I've been here five years. And anytime I look around today, hey, what can I do in British Columbia within an hour of me that I haven't done? And there's enough to do within a lifetime. All right. So have a staycation on spring break if you can't do anything. Yeah, I'm a staycation. I'm gonna stay at the house. All right. I'm watching Breaking Bad. I'm almost through like season four. Oh, uh, really? no, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's not like something uh, women no. do. I have no attention span for it, man. I just don't have any attention span for TV. I need those like seven minute YouTube videos. Yeah, you're the twelve the ones. I'm content. like, yeah, yeah, short form, man. Yeah, but I won't go on TikTok. I'm not getting addicted. That's too short. That's too short. That's bad for you, man. It's bad for my brain. Uh, yes. My son says he has to get TikTok because he's got to put his bike videos on it because. Some other people in the bike industry are doing it. And I'm like, yeah, they're doing it on their burner phones. Like, keep that shit off my network. <laughs> so, uh, it, awesome. I don't know. That's uh, awesome, man. Grow stickers. Do grows.com forward slash stickers. What are we doing? You and Banner had a meeting. Bring bring me up to date on the we forgot to, We forgot to post stickers. it. But so me and Banner just had a meeting. We, we were just getting this thing going. I'd forgotten to make the Instagram post. But we all have a clear favorite for the week. And would you do Not it? just us, like around. Yeah, the crew. just everybody does, man. I mean, these are awesome. There's so many great ones here. Wow. And I feel bad. There's so many great ones. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hang on. I don't know if you got it, Grambo. Oh, there it is, man. Dude, that one makes me just smile. The Dog Walker by Desert Dude. Wait, it's Desert Dude what? Desert Dude. You know what? Is Desert Dude in the chat? I don't know, but that is freaking awesome. I love that one. Uh, so that, yeah, that's the winner for the week. So I will take that one and we'll put it up against the other uh, three winners for the next week. And we'll see which one we want to print out. But that's Can you cool. print a circle that's sticker? I thought the instructions were to make square stickers. You know what? Square image. You know, I, th I think I think I can figure it out. I don't think okay. they just I request over it stickers. We need... We need more than one printout per month. We'll figure it out. I'll put my two cents in. I, want to I tried to do that, man. Yeah, I want to print so many of these out. They're so cool. 
My marketing uh, guy says it's got to, you got to keep it special. Okay, man. You got to keep it special. I have a correction. Lucy, 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 Lucy gems. If you're listening, uh, listen to Friday's post show. Okay. Just listen to Friday's post show. Okay. It involves your dank nug. Lucy oh, Jim right. is in the chat and she says, what's up? Lucy gems nice. in the house. All right, man. There are um, some good stickers here. Yeah, there's a lot of great ones. Can we scroll them? Or, all right, we'll get we'll get lost in it. I don't want to get lost. In yeah, definitely. And stickers. Go check them out. Yeah, dudegrows.com slash stickers, right? Yeah, there's so many beautiful. T- I love the recharge one. Go find the recharge one. I dig it. I'm telling you, man, you got to get that toot across your back, bro. <laughs> you do it. Be perfect. Uh, DGC Cup. We'll see well, what happens. DGC Cup. But that, then your only return on investment in that, Scotty, is if he gets that tattoo on his back, like he has to be shirtless everywhere all summer, right? So that's part so. of the. It's like, how do you even get any representation unless Rambo's just shirtless all the time? Usually you get paid per thousand views. So for every thousand people, I need like 12 bucks. <laughs> just saying, dude's way too comfortable going shirtless on the show, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's take it to, uh, Hey, I got something, what I'm smoking on, what's growing on, what we're smoking on. I'm smoking on something different. Graham, I don't know if you could show this link to smoke hair. Is that how you, H E I R smoke hair, hair. How would you pronounce H E I R Scotty? Higher, higher air. Yeah. I don't know. I think air, is air the H the silent air. like in herb herb. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. The link rambles right at the top of uh, what's growing on. What's and growing what I got on? into is through going to a um, that last poop. Gosh, I have trouble pronouncing it. Damn it! It was that mushroom hangout, Scotty, for three days that JR Token made me aware of when I was in the Pacific Northwest, and somebody whipped out a pipe there. And they're like, "Check it out! There it is!" Yeah, close that shit out. Look at that beauty, the hand pipe. So now, it's beautiful. Now, like artesian. artesian. Now scroll down, Grandma, for me if you can. Um, and show the uh, yeah, keep going there keep right below that image there that shows kind of what this thing's about i have it in my hand here yeah this picture so the reason i got it is it, it is self-contained it's got yeah stay there magnet cap so i'm a guy that when i pack a bowl i don't smoke the whole bowl i usually smoke a hit or two of the bowl or when you pack a fat huge bowl that might last you half of the day depending on what you're doing bam cap on and done which is dope it has that little lanyard pin which plugs the, the back of it basically makes it so when your piece is not in use or there's weed in it, you can't smell shit, Scotty. It's in your pocket. It's wherever. And this is the coolest part I'm liking. Take this apart just like this. Boom. And then right here, which I'm going to replace now, is my virgin bamboo carbon charcoal filter inline. And that lasts about, I don't know, three big bowls or so. And I'm digging, dude. The end of the bowl were... Your mouthpiece is this part of the bowl. When I try to clean it, has jack in it for tar, and I haven't cut open the carbon filter yet, but I need to. But check them out, dude. This was uh, yeah recommended by a friend of a friend. I said, hey, I'll shout you out on the show, and uh, they have sweet bongs as well that I'm yet to uh, try. Smoke h e i r dot com and coupon code dude grows will hook you up. But we've been talking about filtration. And the more I, when I clean my bowls, it's like, holy shit, dude, that is yeah. just dirty, dirty. So I was listening you to like, something, uh, I was listening to something recently. They were talking about uh, e-cigarettes and how everybody wants to demonize them. Uh, but there was a doctor and he was like, I can't find any evidence that they're at least that they're nearly as bad as cigarettes. And he goes, it's not the nicotine that would kill you. It was the tar. And I could see that. Um, yeah, debate. I mean, yes, I could see that. As far as I don't want to say that the the vaping is, it is, I don't know. I I see what you're saying. Because when you look at the room, a smoke room, like a smoke break room, I used to see at a Walmart when I was a young and it was tan. It's like, dude, the walls are tan. The rest of the break room is white. Um, and yeah. then you go to move out and you take a poster off the so wall gross. and there's a white circle on yeah, like a white triangle so or a rectangle. Creepy. Yeah. That's so creepy. Yeah, it's definitely the lesser of two evils. Vaping ain't good, but it's better than freaking marbles. Yeah, it was just interesting. They were saying, hey, Grandma, do me a favor. Will you click the link that I just threw on there just, just to ambush you live? Yeah. Um, it's right there, the smoke air, right below smoke air. There you go. The ball right there. Um, I did the wish test. All right. You got to always take the pipe and put it in wish and see if it comes up on wish.com. 
like uh, most things do. And this came up. A jack-o'-lantern pipe. <laughs> what the? And it looks like I just cracked the, the most ridiculous shit there, man. Six dollars and twenty-two probably cents. Probably pretty man. cool in October. <laughs> That's a fair price. That's a fair price. Yeah. It comes straight from China. China. You have to buy a dozen of them. China. Yeah, wish.com. It's a weird website. A wish. <laughs> all right. Yeah, took the wish test, man. It passed, all right? We know what we're getting from Scotty. That's what you're handing out to the trick-or-treaters next year? You're going to get like 100 pack of those? <laughs> a wish pipe. It's a conversation piece. <laughs> Give this to your daddy. <laughs> Who isn't going to comment on that? That is true. That is true. Are you 18? Show me your ID. All right, you get one. <laughs> Show me your card. Nice. Um, so what's what's fun? Um, my what's my kid calls on? me the other. Um, uh, if we're, if we're, so if that's where we're at, right? What's growing on? What's growing um, on, man? I want to know. What's growing on, and he's like, dude, he's at the bike park. Um, Does he call you, seven. dude? Does your kid call you, dude? What? Does your kid call <laughs> no, you, dude? Uh, no, I dude. shouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> <laughs> he, if he does. He calls me dad. Calls me dad. That's close enough. Oh, Dude, check it, man. <laughs> and he's like, I backed into oh. my car. Shit, before even. I'm not worried about my car at all. I mean, the back of it's like, just, just, yeah. It's, it's good to back into anything. But he's like, I backed into a bike rack, and he's like, oh, this dude, uh, I, I, I damaged his bike rack, and then he's headed to Cali soon. So he's like, I'm wondering if we can loan him <laughs> Wait, our bike it's, rack. It's, it's like, dude, is, uh, it's like he, he loves bikes so much. He's like, oh, my God, was there a bike on there? Are the bikes okay? Is, there about the rack. is everybody's bike okay, man? We can replace the rack. Okay. okay. I'm thinking of that commercial where it's like, you know, after dude got in an accident with your son, it's like, I learned it from you, Dad. <laughs> so the, uh, funny, the bike right? rack. Y'all laugh. Um, you don't know, man. Bike rack could oh, be man, 500 bucks. It could be 1,500 bucks. I don't know how much damage what? there is. I'm like, damn it. And like he's like, can, can he borrow our bike rack? And I have one of my bike racks I use a lot is like 15 years old, completely safe and works okay. But by my standards, where I need bungee cords in the back part here, mm-hmm. and like I just keep making it work. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Some people make fun of it, right? But the, <laughs> the uh, kind of guy that back. he, he hangs out in circles where they make fun of his bike rack. This is <laughs> such a great dude story. <laughs> yeah. Let me continue. Yeah. Fifteen hundred dollar bike oh. rack, man. Wow. Okay, so yeah, wow. keep going, man. <laughs> he he calls back and like he's like I'm like okay how are we gonna figure this out I don't want to pay a bunch of money we're about to head to Hawaii that shit ain't cheap and he's like the guy said he'll take a half ounce I'm like what yes. okay yes. what does this mean green um is yeah and they make dude I'm like a half ounce I mean what do we do forty dollars worth of damage uh forty five dollars worth of damage so I I like my wife's like take pictures which. Is a good idea in any situation when you get in any type of accident. So just yeah, have him good sign a contract. Huh? Oh, should you make him sign papers? Release a liability? <laughs> I hand you. Hold on, I don't know. Hold on. So this, so this, you hit his bike rack, and immediately this guy wanted to settle for some weed. Uh, it took like that's where I'm wondering, minutes. like take pictures because what if there's like barely any damage and it's just a scratch and he's like you know what i'll take an half ounce <laughs> like so i gotta make sure it's justified right so he stops so I, it i love hey, it. you're not a cop, we were talking right? about green what, what made him think that you had an half, a half ounce to give him he's the dude uh, <laughs> does he look like a cop yeah to you? There's, <laughs> there's a few reasons that we won't discuss in the live show for that one oh, okay <laughs> right, right, we'll right, save right, it for right. the after show I'm, I'm bringing that up man yeah mm. Possibly. We did discuss green passing the other day. I don't want to be repetitive. We were talking about the ski resorts, bike park. I was trying to, I don't know if you guys had any new ones. Like, do you have any like epic weed green? Like when you had to pay for something, but instead you use weed, I don't know, HVAC guys, a servicemen, somebody like, and Scotty, you had a few, but did you recall anything since last we talked? Damn it, man. No, I can't think of I any have good few. ones. Yeah. yeah. Who have you? Who have you hooked Mechanic. Up? Bike mechanic. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, electrician, plumber. Oh, yeah, all those yeah, guys are my same Scotty. service people. All trade guys, dude. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, Does man. that count, Mike? Man? Fort Collins Automotive. Remember, we both used Mike. I totally yeah. forgot about that. I definitely, he would. He needed money, too, but he'd gladly take a nice eighth of some dank and be like, yeah, okay, I'll take care of that, that part of that bill. Yeah, so man. that is nice, man. Mechanics yeah. ain't cheap. You're buying parts and weed for the labor. And there, I don't know. 
Yeah, I guess most usually of it works out for everybody. Trade weed for <laughs> that sounds fair, man. If you guys have this luxury, um, it's kind of played out a little bit, in, a little bit in Colorado, British Columbia, like Washington, Oregon, established markets. A lot of weed going around. But if you're in a place where it's still prohibition land or just coming on board, and you can turn out some dank, then you can save some money still. You just got to go find the people like uh, uh, Panera saying in the service industry that I don't know if you notice like one mechanic or HVAC guys wearing sun. There's not usually a lot of telltale signs of prohibition land, like a dead shirt or a, you know, a hat that signifies something of a band like Cypress Hill. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah. you can figure that out. You can save money. Wink, wink. Oh, brilliant one here from I'm Brad what in the got? chat. Guitar lessons. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, man. That's you start good. off with it and then you leave it. Yes. Let's toke and the rest is yours. It's awesome. I took the guitar lessons at one sweet. point. I know how to play one song. I think Grambo plays the guitar a little bit. And my, oh, the yeah. first song my teacher said, which was a totally long haired hippie, was like, dude, you got to learn how to play Hey Joe by Jimi Hendrix. It's the first song we're going to learn. I used to teach guitar for a long time and I lost a client and I, I never would lose clients. And this guy's like pulled his kid out of my teaching class. I was like, Hey man, like what's going on? Is, is he not like digging it? He's like, I gotta be honest. Like your house smells like weed every time I come here and I'm not comfortable bringing my kid here. I was like, <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> it was like 2006 and i was like oh, i've never like it still mortifies me it's like oh god damn it I, oh it's so funny i didn't man. think you could smell that i'd be like i'm gonna be right back you I, keep, keep practicing i'll be right back i was like this fucking kid's driving me nuts <laughs> he sucked hey man you know Banner, Banner's <laughs> on, favorite Scotty. new his favorite new like i uh, love that video youtube obsession is watching people try to play stairway to heaven at the guitar store oh, wow. <laughs> and then getting shut down <laughs> they just go like this they put their hand over the, the fret you just go <laughs> you, you saw that right you realize that that video has multiple people it's yeah, not yeah, just yeah. one dude. Yeah, he, it's a thing. He's going, he's at a, he's at the, at NAMA. It's like the music guitar like industry or uh, sure. event. Yeah. And so he's at multiple guitar makers and brands oh, and, so and they funny. all do it. it. It's so funny. Damn it. We got to find that. Yeah. If he was doing that at NAM, that's like the place where like, yeah, that's uh, like guitar the, central. Yeah, I'll, post, I'll post it up in the chat. Nice. <laughs> just trolling. <laughs> it's just trolling. Uh, <laughs> we got some good comments here. News. I'm going to shout out to uh, promoting man, dudegrows.com forward slash promote. Whoa. You guys are on board. I just, uh, we're getting hazy roots, hazy roots coming on board. DGC producer. That's making some cool ass. He's got some little events. We're going to feature for your, your tent that he's 3d printing himself. And I think I'm getting hip Scotty. Cause I'm like, do you have a farm yet? Do you have a 3d printer farm yet? He's like, no, not that big yet. <laughs> like wow. you turn a whole building into 3d printers. Um, be crazy. But yeah, DJ, dudegrows.com forward slash promote has a multitude of levels starting at even $150 a month where you guys can come on um, if, if you're a fit, man, DGC vetted, man. See what you got going on and uh, hook it up. Go over there and check it out and get in touch if you have something I got you want to try and promote with the Dude Grows crew. Yeah. Come on, that's your work banner. Budding brands. Yeah, come on. That's a banner work right there. Oh, you like that one? I like it. All right. <laughs> get it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, good shit, man. What's wrong with us, man? We'll do a couple shout outs, dude. Oh, am I skipping people? What the hell? I was going right I to the comments. Yeah. How about, yeah, how we got some shout outs here. Start it, Scotty. Space Duck. Okay. What do these mean? At least Land Shark and genetics. I get it, man. You know, maybe like Land Shark beer. Maybe I don't know what, man. Okay. Geeky Sea Art. I don't know. Geeky C art. All right. It almost sounds I'm like Geeky C sure. art. That's weird. Geeky C art. Yeah. Maybe they have a list. Land Shark beer is like just a rebrand of like Bud Light. And then it's the the, the beach theme, the that kind of like that, that's it. I've seen it before with different and you've seen it too in marketing, but it's like that's not any type of special beer. It's just like kind of the party vibe with it. You know what I mean? They mark it's marketed, yeah. Everybody's drinking Corona. What are we gonna do? I did talk to, and we'll get back on point here, a breeder the other day. God, I forgot who, but they were talking about how marketing in the seed game is so big. It's even, he's like, even more important than genetics, man. The marketing, the names, it's like, oh, you got to oh, yeah. put so much into it. It's like, God, that's intimidating. Well, I mean, think mm. about it. How, how are you going to, there's so many uh, genetics companies out there, and there's a lot of good genetics. How are you going to pick the, 
you know, the ones you want to do business with. It's the ones that are going to step you up know, and find you. Encase your seeds in a fancy glass blown case that you have to break on the ground to get to them with no description at all about what kind of seeds they are, how to grow them, nothing. <laughs> yeah, like $500 a pack of six. No, nah, there's people with great reputations that if you want to think about what seeds represent, it's your own you know, factory of these, you know, this amazing, the cherry Paloma cut. And to have that and the, the impact that it's made on the community is huge. You know, that's worth a few hundred bucks for a pack of those seeds. I don't think that's what he charges, but. Mark, I'm going to finish the shout outs because we got Mountain Bastard. How's yes. it growing? Mm. Hi, McGyvering. I love uh, that show. Uh, <laughs> at least I get <laughs> that. I even liked it more when they made fun of it on Saturday Night Live. Um, and <laughs> girls just want to grow dank. What's going on? Nice. Oh. Dudegrows.com forward slash support. Become the DGC. All right. What's up with your comments? You can bring me in, Scotty. Talk about the grow store. You know, this was something we Probably actually... On a, this was a ahead. couple comps. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was going to say, I think you covered this a little bit on a post show at one time, but you felt it was... It's important I just to bring thought it, it was a good conversation. We were doing, we did this on the post show. If y'all don't know, we've been doing post shows usually after the show, unless something crazy is happening. And this was a cool conversation. I thought we could talk about it. Legacy Grow. Thank you for the comment. Uh, we were talking about grow stores and uh, what they need to do to survive. And he says, uh, uh, slinging clones or, you know, allowing them to do that or just giving great advice. And Legacy Grow says, uh, grow store owner here. I was <laughs> laughing because I literally just the other day was smoking a bowl of my homegrown out back of our grow store with a customer while discussing clones we've exchanged. And I was showing them pictures of my HLG 30 watt UVA bars that I really recently started using in my grow. I guess we're doing it right out here, according to Scotty. And absolutely. Think about it. Most customers don't know about UVA. So, hey, you want to increase your try? Come here. I got something advanced for you. I got something expert for you. This is UVA. Uh, hey, check this clone out. You got all of a sudden a bunch of reasons to show up at that growth store. You couple in swapping your CO2 tanks out there, and suddenly I'm hanging out there every couple of weeks. So, yes, yeah. you are doing uh, it right. I like it. If I could uh, get my clones there as well, I'd give that some thumbs up. That would get me to the store a little bit more. Um, I guess what Legacy careful. Grows is saying is that you don't need to, to really ask for permission to do it. You know, they're just swapping stuff out. It's not illegal. You know, they're not probably not looking to make money off it. You're just looking to get people in and out of the store. Or in the store. Um, in and out of the store. Lab, dude, dude, hang on. I just got the most random hijack. Went to the grocery store with my kid, and there was this woman in front of me, and I was like, yeah, no, there's a person in front of me, and then a woman in front, like in the rascal. And the guy, after about two minutes, the guy in front of me turns around, grabs all his shit, and gets angry and walks away, mumbles <laughs> something. He muttered something to me. And I was like, what? Dude, I stood there for a stunned as hell, a solid 12 more minutes waiting for this woman. They couldn't get rid of her after like 12. I mean, seriously, to count to 60, 12 times this is a long time to stand there. So I grab all my groceries and I didn't mutter, though. It's kind of high. You took off. Man. Yeah, I took off. Man. Yeah, you did getting them in and out. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm laughing because you called it a rascal instead of like a scooter. It was a little rascal. And she reminds on. me. The commercial. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man! Uh, okay. so There's my hat. You got a J Love says. Spoiler alert: Most grow stores probably don't even get their money from in-store sales. Everything is cheaper locally at grow stores, so it's not Amazon either, huh? Yeah, I was thinking that for real. And if you got to go there for soil or you can't order soil or anything like that on Amazon, if you're getting those big, you know, two and a half gallon jugs or whatever they are of nutrient, man, you're so much better going to the grow store. And I'm sure if you have a decent sized grow, uh, you'd rather go through them anyway. Get yourself a nice discount. I'm sure they'll work with you. I know they work with you. So that, that's what they're yeah. saying is the grocery store. When you look and you say, man, there's only five people going in there. Or I saw 15 people today go into that grocery store over there. How the hell they stay in business? 
You never think about the giant accounts they might have. They might have two or three giant accounts. And ask. I always would know, like, because my friends were always big uh, grow buyers in the old legacy market. So we were always share on a shared account. So you'd go in and be like, I remember you guys had a, a Dude Grows account at Way to Grow. I used to use every now and then a big, I'm on the Dude Grow. I don't remember what the, the code was, but ask around. You can get in at your local grow store. Ask if there's an account you can get on and they'll give you big discounts. Yeah, I forgot about the dude grows account. Yeah, I old school deal. That. I, I'm Shout old to school. Way to grow in Colorado, go ask them. Yeah, I remember that day. I used it many times. I lived right next to Way to Grow when I moved to Colorado, so I was like, oh, it's Kismet. Kismet. Uh, another comment from Dogs Days Gardeners. Uh, this is that Scotty talking about that yeah, CBD concentrate you're using. You guys really didn't like the taste of it. Got a concentrate from get together. It says this dog day has got some of the same CBD mm -hmm. concentrate at the Mary Jane cup that night. Yep. You guys, yep. you and Banner went to, and I yep. gave it to my wife. She's using it for migraines. She gets chronic migraines really bad. It takes it away completely. In about CBD 15 dips, minutes. Dude, yes. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to step on you. Uh, yeah. It takes them completely away in 15 minutes. Instant That's relief as soon as she dabs it too. Yeah, I put this one on because I seem like a weed snoot sometimes. I don't like the way that smells too bad, Banner. Tell me what that smells like to you. It just, for me, it's uh, just not a pleasant smoking experience. But, man, I just wanted to put that on because it's great medicine. There's so many people, whether you use CBD and rub it in as a balm or uh, you take it orally just for health, man, it is uh, such great medicine. So, um, man, I just thought this was cool. It's just a reminder that a lot of people are using this and it's a great uh, pain reliever. So, Because the dab is yeah. like instant. That's the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's Didn't another one. Steven Gulke, Gulke. I apologize if I messed up your name. I use Sounds CBD good. isolate on a daily basis. It does work and it does calm you down. I put it under my tongue. If you put it sublingually how do you like that oh if, that's cool if you put enough it acts like a benzo it can even make you tired i don't know who's studying this but they are wrong um yeah i don't know what the last part's about but yeah um it seems to be working a lot for people i mean just putting a little bit under your tongue so Interesting. I, yeah i don't mean to uh poo poo on cbd i just this one wasn't just the best smoking experience for me but i just wanted to put those on there just make sure everybody we all remember that it's medicine i always like to think of it too like peanuts kill some people right so like our biochemistry is obviously very very diverse <laughs> so some people get very big relief from cbd some people get none you know so right who knows makes sense yeah. would uh yeah, i want to get comments. my hands maybe on my mother-in-law gets migraines at times and sometimes it's hard to recommend different things when people are not just, I'm not going to say set in their ways. They have, I mean, she has medication that mm -hmm. see, have side effects, not work that awesome, but I'm thinking about the delivery method and it would be cool if I could get, I could probably convince her because I know they make these and we kind of didn't make fun of, but they have different, they're making uh, device, delivery devices out of inhalers. So to somebody like my mother-in-law, that looks medical, that looks helpful. She's familiar with it. Versus, so here's a, a dab rig. But I wonder, there should also probably be CBD, because um, that's a concentrate, though. Because that's probably, did that concentrate list a percentage or anything on it? Do you know? Percentage no, CBD or anything be, like that? It's got to be easy enough to make a 25 milligram CBD pill or edible or whatever. Uh, but I like the instant delivery. I'm thinking uh, of, a, of, a, of a pen, some type of push button. Sublingually, under the tongue, pretty, pretty quick delivery there. Okay, okay. I'm going to get some stuff. I'm going to be at the Dispo. One thing that the Dispo is good for me, too, is to, to look at all these different products that are on the shelf because um, I rarely go. But for something like this, it's kind of fun to go and see what's available. Aquaponics Steve oh, had right. that stuff a long time ago, didn't he? Oh, potent <laughs> sublingual yeah. powder. Oh, yeah. powder. Yeah, it was in a powder form, dude. No powders, man. No powders. <laughs> but didn't he, weren't it like the strips, though, like the, the breath strips? Didn't he have some of those? Did he have? I don't know. I don't yeah, know. He's always got some out. next level. Thing. Yeah. Shout out to Potent Ponic Steve out there in Thailand. <laughs> um, Feels so so let's take take it to did, the news. Did you read up on Oklahoma here? A little bit. For, 
Oh, yeah, a little bit. Oklahoma voters reject legalizing recreational marijuana. And it's lame. Uh, Oklahoma uh, rejected uh, uh, rec. They don't have medical there, a robust medical scene. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of interesting. Me and uh, me and Banner were talking about the adversaries for this. And it was like big, uh, big ag. Definitely, they didn't like it. Hang on one second. So Oklahoma voters on Tuesday rejected the legalization of recreational marijuana following a late blitz of opposition from faith leaders, law enforcement, and prosecutors. So they just had a bunch of people that showed up and uh, I'm sure tons of commercials and everything. As a matter of fact, didn't they were going to tax 15 percent too? F that Minnesota, I think, was doing an 8 percent tax, 15 um, 20 to one, though, too, Scotty here. It says I just found some more info on it. The, the, the no side to this. So the people that said no was 20 to one. And then look at the spending. So supporters of this initiative, the people that wanted this to happen for it to go wreck, spent more than four point about five million dollars compared to two hundred and twenty thousand dollars spent um, for people against this. Wow. That yeah. was campaign finance reports. Holy cow. That's a huge difference in money. Mark Grossman, an attorney who voted against the proposal Tuesday at the Crown Heights Christian Church in Oklahoma City, says, I was a no vote because I'm against smoking. Tobacco smoking was a huge <laughs> problem for my family. Yikes. They let anybody That's a good reason because, you know, edibles and yeah, they let and sublingual anybody. powders. Anybody vote. Man, it's crazy. Hey, by the way, Grambo, can we play this TV thing? Yeah, this one. <laughs> I don't know if can you play some of the uh, some of the audio if you would. It's kind yeah. of crazy. It oh. just talks about we got the newscasters or we got the uh, the guy the newscaster. Okay. The, Back yeah. to their business. News Force Adria Goins is joining us in studio to explain why they're against it. That's a nice shot, right, Grandma? It was pretty Marijuana terrible. Is next Tuesday, March seventh. And the polls will be open from 7 to 7. So they say that um, 7, 10 they, to 7, they 10. have a couple of concerns. We saw how the news people dress where they're from. They concerns. are against this recreational marijuana. Here are the concerns. Be concerned, Vehicle everybody. From the Farm, Bureau, Farm Bureau, Oklahoma Cattlemen's Association, and American oh. farmers and ranchers <laughs> banding together as one voice for their 60,000 Yeah, members, that looks like Oklahoma. Including family farmers and ranchers. Uh, and rural citizens in all seven. I mean, this guy's just, he's not voting. Yes. yes. This guy's fucking They're cool. They're speaking out against state question 820, saying recreational marijuana would hurt oh, agriculture across the state. Really? This marijuana is interesting. grow operations have bought up or that, tied up done the up. acres of the Oklahoma farmland. The uh, group claims already. You hear that? Yeah. Because it's because raising because all their prices. Yes, sir. So, yeah, that's what you're mentioning. I mean, I kind of I'm not saying I agree with this guy. I don't know the stats, but they, they definitely have had an impact on the availability of farmland. They have been people sure. coming in from China and all over the damn place there. A lot of bad taste in the mouths of Oklahomans. I can see why uh, for some a crime that a story about people getting killed. So I can see why this didn't pass. Probably a bad time to try to get it to pass. Well, the reason that it was so much crime and people getting killed is because it's there's still a tremendous black market for it. When you legalize it, make it into an industry. Damn, I seen something. It wasn't in Oklahoma, but I seen something where a paper mill was closing today, and eleven hundred people were losing their jobs. Mm. You know, I mean, you could use jobs. I mean, that having a you know a cannabis factory where you're you know you're growing it and then you're processing it into different uh, products. One of the facts cool about the, the black market, one of the things that no one ever talks about is like uh, drugs. I mean, cannabis in particular, it's one of the only things that when you steal it, it's worth more on the black. If you steal art, you have to sell it for less. If you steal diamonds, you steal it for less. You know, you sell it for less. Sure. When you steal weed, you sell it for more. So you steal it and then you go out to the black market and you, you, you can you end up making more like, you know, we can buy a six hundred dollar pound here. In you know Colorado for some outdoor weed, they can go sell that for three thousand. Right. It's one of the only things on right. earth that you can sell for more when you fence it. You cool. know, so it's it's a huge reason for you know get it legalized, mm -hmm. uh, but have home grow. You got to make sure grow is protected. But it, it's interesting. I guess the cops banded together, and then the farm bureau banded together. I'm sure it's not very difficult to convince that guy that weed is bad. Yeah. But still, I could see them being like, oh, I used to buy that farmland or I used to lease that, uh, you know, for you know, $50 an acre. And now all of a sudden it's leased up by some giant corporation that's growing uh, cannabis on there. Ruin that devil's weed.
could see it. Yeah, and don't get me wrong. I mean, well, the only part of Oklahoma I've experienced in cannabis is the Cowboy Cup, so I'm kind of jaded. I was going to be like, they seem like they really like it there, but I'm hanging out at the Cowboy Cup the whole yeah. time. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. there's different areas where there's some some uh, people that aren't so kind with the cannabis. Uh, yeah. But, uh, and I, I don't think that one was right anyway. Like, I can even start with just the, the sheer tax rate at 15%, man. There's so many things that would have to fall into place that would get me to vote. Correct. Yeah, you were- don't try to fall on that term. Hold on that when people say, oh, well, at least it's not illegal. Like at least don't say, well, at least it's this anymore because they might be passing something that's pretty damn restrictive and it might be hard to undo it. Yeah. Yeah. But you were talking about how much money they uh, spent. Would you say it was a couple million dollars compared to a couple hundred thousand dollars? Five, five million dollars they spent to try and pass it and 220,000 for to, against it. I wonder. Yeah, I don't know. This is from the Oklahoman. I guess it's, you know, they just pick this viewpoint. I guess randomly they pick this viewpoint to publish. But college student view, recreational marijuana would do more harm than good in cities like Norman. And uh, yeah, it says Oklahoma's will bet on, or, you know, will uh, this is from before. But it talks to this kid. Where is it, man? He is so square, man. Oh, I don't even, man, I guess I would bore you guys if I read it, but man, this kid was so square. Talks about, uh, it's just, just like, what do they call it? Uh, fear mongering. Yeah. Don't scroll down. We'll get banned, mm-hmm. man. But it's, it's amazing that, uh, articles like this get published and this, it doesn't seem like it's amazing or by accident. It seems like it's a, uh, a money thing. You know? Doesn't the use of the word marijuana annoy you? It's, here's what yeah, probably you caught on this, bit. Scotty, is they, bit, the, yeah. they, quoted the, they quoted the National Institute on Drug Abuse a few times in here. They said, well, the National Institute of Drug Abuse says a review of 48 relevant studies found marijuana used to be associated with, with reduced chances of graduating. These statistics led me to believe this proposal will do more harm than good and goes on to yeah, say the National Drug Institute on Drug Abuse says that Study found that employees who tested positive for marijuana had 55% more industrial accidents. Like, what is it? What the hell is this? Is your argument to cite the National Institute on Drug Abuse? Yeah, and who and knows where the like, hell they're getting their stuff from? They sound official, but who knows where that's coming from? It was just kind of funny that that was the one they chose to publish. Um, yeah, and then on that, they, have, uh, they have one more in here that was crazy, man. Oh, yeah. So... And 75% greater absences. And then they had in two, they're saying if you smoke weed, you're 75% more absent from work. I know. Um, and I just don't know where they're getting this from. And it's such bad. Why does it say advertisement under there? I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, shit. Just reek of propaganda. And we're also, it's so thing. propaganda. The whole thing yes, is propaganda. Yes, that's why I threw it over there, man. I just thought it was crazy. Like you said, who owns the Oklahoman? Who's back behind the National Institute? I think that's the feds. Um, you think? So, I have no yes. idea. Could be a private organization. Check it. We'll, we'll check it in a minute. Are we fact <laughs> checkers over here? Me. What's it called? The National what? The Oklahoman <laughs> Association for National... Do they own the Oklahoma? Yeah, Oklahoma. Society of Preservation. Doesn't matter. Sounds... Yeah, sounds like a phony thing to me, dude. So, is this next one just clickbait? Meet the man who moved this is for you, dude. A this is for you. to save on rent. Yeah, and now the New York Post sends me all sorts of good stuff, and I don't know. I just thought I thought this was perfect for you. I thought you'd really dig this, man. You guys know they're a new sponsor, right? <laughs> Who's that? The dumpster? <laughs> oh, the New York Post. Yeah, yeah. I'm down, man. They target me. <laughs> Come on, is oh, that cool or what? Like a big uh, open dumpster that hey, the guys put like a house siding and roof on top of what, you know, a big long dumpster looks like. Desperate times call for desperate measures. This is a British artist. Harrison Marshall is done by building his own, very own tiny home in a yellow skip. So I guess <laughs> I yellow thought, is the name dumpster. I thought you'd uh, enjoy it. Oh, it looks nice inside. Nice and spacious. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <not> weird, <man. laughs> Nothing weird there, man. Nothing weird there. I will tell you that, yeah, for, for me, without uh, family, no worries. But um, And tiny homes are getting a lot more popular, Scotty. I think it's a pretty cool concept, man. Just, you can take it with you. 
uh, it's you got to find a place to put it. Of course, I know you're not probably into a tiny home. You don't even like the phrase tiny home. But I do say they sure as hell are making home ownership harder. What's up? You need a trash truck to take that with you. Hey, I got to hire a trash truck, man. <laughs> I got to move ownership? my house. What's that? Why are they making ownership harder? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> oh, we, we, we want to go into dude's uh, market report? Or what, is that what I would call it? I just feel the... Uh, when I bought a house at 23, it was pretty easy. There was a lot of more new home ownership programs and right. just the amount of money you got. Up. The price of real estate even these days, I'll get into that. I feel also that, like, quote, the man, there's big corporations buying up a lot of housing at once. So the options for people are more and more just to be able to rent. No, not that many people have the tens of thousands of dollars on hand for down payments and to get into yeah. a mortgage and get into a house. Kind of sucks because it's nice to own something in this life, I think. Maybe right. I'm just getting old. Nah, you're right. You are right, sir. On both counts. I'm trying to figure out. I'm tripping out. Like, I bought my first house when I was 24, 23. And with the help of a friend, was it much? I had to put down like 6,500 bucks. And now I'm looking at, damn, my kid's going to be like 20, mid-20s in, you know, seven years. How can I start to prep for this? And it's, fuck, it's intimidating. This isn't that show necessarily, but I, I thought I'd bring it up when I'm looking at the guy living in the living in the dumpster. Not literally. Are you, you saying know. that's an option? You know, talk to him about it. Hey, son, I saw this and I thought it might be cool. It might be a fun project. And keep in mind, the guy living in the dumpster, every single, every single video is branded from TikTok. So, you know, take, yeah. take it with a grain of salt. Still, it's got to be <laughs> tough to meet girls like that. No, yeah. he seems really nice. He lives in a dumpster. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway. let's do some shout outs. Check out some memes. I got yeah. Raider Dank Vader. What's up? He's cooking double time at the DGC Cup dueling like pizza it. ovens, man. So come hungry. Come hungry. Thank you, Raider Dank Vader. DGCCup.com, June 3rd. Bring the dank. Uh, we have Charlie Brown Farm. Oh, no. Brown Friends. Program. <laughs> I'm, I'm pre programmed. Charlie Brown Brown. I don't oh. know if I like that, Charlie Brown. Don't forget about old Toby. Old Toby's garden. You remember old Toby, Thanks. right? Yes, old Toby. <laughs> Sounds like a Leonard Skinner song. <laughs> old Toby's garden. Oh, man. Hey, uh, do me a favor, Grambo. You had some pretty funny memes, or at least you had the I got out. Bear I got out done. Yeah. I done, out, yours, I done got out done. Yours was funny, man. Yours yeah, there you go. Paddington, which I showed my wife that, and she said, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was very accurate. But. But, now we, yeah, I don't know if he got out done, but your mailman grows think it's more of a Jamiroquai I'm setup not, there. I have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, try spelling Jamiroquai without spell check. All right. J-I-R- Miracle. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> did you, did you like, um, I don't know why this came same time, I guess, Lenny Lenny Kravitz. I mentioned Lenny Kravitz the other day, and somebody else was like, ooh, I'm like, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> uh, oh, that love room was good back in the day. In yeah. college, drank that up. You covered that Tom Jones song. Remember? <laughs> do you think I like to get covered the America American woman, right? You know, I didn't do too bad on that. Mm -hmm. no, I think he was like a fashionista guy. It's kinda rubbed some rock and rollers the wrong way. Cool me. Some people love to blaze up the deck. Yeah, we get happy for noon. And with the boss man is to take a little break. That means we're lighting up a dude. It's just we